Today's Monday, April 11th, 2022. My name is Alex, your host of the Corporate Cowboys podcast, as always, powered by Associates Incorporating Associates. Effectively that. Today's episode is a little special. And uh, I just wanted to open up by saying, by exposing you, you're still fucking up, nigga? You're still fucking up? How long has it been since I last seen you? How long has it been since I've, since you've heard from me, since I've heard from you and, and we've connected and we've communicated? You know how long? It's been years. Years. And now I'm... I'm halfway a decent lawyer. And look at you. Still fucking up. Still fucking up where I left you. Oh, what? You don't remember the last message you sent? Oh, what? You were under the influence? You were caught up in the game? What game, bro? You were losing at the time. You were lost. And it looks like it appears as if you still are. This is ridiculous. It really is. I'm not going to remind you what that last text was, one that you sent me. Since then, you've probably pawned off your phone, ran through fucking five, six more. (laughs) Who knows what happens when you're in the grips of this fucking bullshit. But I told you, I told you at that time that I needed you. I told you. And what'd you do instead? You fucking threw it in my face. Knowing full well you had the time and you had the resources. And I recognized then, and I'm sure you recognize now, that you lacked the discipline. And I'm not sorry I had to cut you off. Really, I'm not. Because I've had time to think and you have had time to recapacitate yourself. And yet here you are, still fucking up. Motherfucking bro. Bro. Where the fuck were you, man? Where the fuck were you? Obviously not with me in the gym, shooting. I had to be out here doing dirt by myself, creating the network by myself. (laughs) One hand tied behind my back. Nah, not even one hand. No hands. I had to do it all word of mouth. So you know the folks will hear about this. You've been in the wind for too long. I don't know if you're an asset or a liability. And that, that uncertainty makes you a liability by default. That probably doesn't scare you. You might have seen some shit. And this might be your rock bottom. You're probably begging to be released inside. You're probably begging to be put out of your misery. 
And I can't touch you. I can't touch you. I seen your name come across my desk and I had to come visit. I had to come see for myself. It's fucking bullshit. This, this, me having to do this is fucking bullshit. And I know what you're thinking. Alex, people can change. Just give me a second chance. Give me a third chance. Alex, give me a fourth chance. Give me another another try that ain't for me to give man that ain't for me to give I'm on orders you've been on orders the fact that you consistently come up short the fact that you are now where you are the fact that you are presently where you are is exactly why I'm here and have to tell you this this, is, this isn't the way it was meant to be. You know this. I for sure know this. You should have shaped up when you had time, man. Now I gotta cut you off. Just like I cut you off then. I got I got to let you know that you've been cut off. Cuz the last time, yeah, I let it go. I cut you off without another word. You were in the fucking uh in the throes of your high chasing the dragon. One last peak, one last bust, one last nut. And if I have to, and I, if I have to tell you what the consequences look like, as if you didn't already know, as if you didn't already know, it's, it's not, it's not for me, it's not for me to tell you, it's not for me to accuse you just meant to expose you it's only meant to have you realize and if you don't realize you're you're blind and lost but that's what happens when you're chasing that high when you're in your comfort zone and don't want to leave it you fester you begin to ferment you over ripen, you spoil, you decompose, you become dirt yourself. So yeah, somebody has to come do this. Look at me now, doing dirt by myself. And you're the one who has to know this. It's been too long, man. It's been too long. <laughs> that goes out to uh, a previous associate of mine who fell into uh, fell in with the wrong crowd, started picking up the wrong substances for the wrong reasons. See, I'm not against self-medicating. But there comes a point, man. There comes a point where a lack of discipline is what you become. (laughs) That shit shows It shows on your face what a lack of discipline looks like. It manifests itself in your body, physically, 
how you carry yourself, how you walk, how you talk, how you look, how you speak, what you eat, what you drink, the tone of your voice, even how you breathe. You communicate this non-verbally to people outside of yourself. Unfortunately, too many people fall into the, uh, the grips of addiction. Too many people fall prey. You know, good people, essentially good people, but then they become this depraved animation of who they once used to be and few few once they've reached the path once they've reached the point once they've gone past the point of no return few exceedingly few come back that's if they're even salvageable I hope this gave y'all some motivation to, I don't know, not, not pick up, not pick up what you don't need. And if you already have to put it down, drugs, alcohol, pornography, fatty foods, junk foods, excessive eating. Anything, anything not done for the benefit of your mind, soul, and body is a vice. And yes, most everyone has a vice. But you let that vice control you. And you become dependent on that vice for a sense of normalcy. For, for that sense of being normal. Even if nor- normality now becomes uh, chasing the high. One more hit. One more baggy. One more, one more video to bust a nut to. One more fucking chicken nugget. Another, another point, another step closer to the point of no return. Because you pad your life with an abundance of shit, and sooner or later your vision, your vision becomes cloudy, becomes, becomes cloudy in the sense that you can't see life any other way other than what you're doing to stay high, to stay intoxicated, to stay within the dream, within the illusion. And if your friend Alex tries to pull up on you and pull the wool off from over your eyes... You lash out. And you probably don't remember that. You probably you probably don't remember that. I've done some some atrocious, heinous shit. I've been where you are right now. Maybe not chemically, but psychologically, yeah, I've been there. Rationalizing my way through, justifying each and every one of my actions. One might consider them <clears throat> crimes and sins, and yet I felt I was in the right. I had to believe I was in the right, otherwise I would be fucking myself over. So, what did I do? Did I get clean? I mean, I got cleaner. <laughs> 
But once you're dirty, once you know what dirt looks like, you're better for it. You are better for being able to recognize dirt and stay clean. Being able to appreciate doing dirt and still knowing how to clean up. And it's a balance. Few people have that balance. And that comes from a lack of discipline. You might say it. You might call it a personal choice. You might call it a habit. You might call it a a social disease. It's just a lack of discipline. And discipline is a general enough term where it could either mean being disciplined or getting disciplined. I don't know. That that idea is, is funny to me. Because I mean few people I mean some people just don't come up with those uh, with those structures, right? And uh, and even then the discipline they do develop is coded more for uh, self-preservation, for survivability, and they can't, they can't uh, grow outside of it. It's not programmed for development. So you could be a disciplined drug addict, a disciplined porn addict, where you have a routine. You have a fucking ritual you take up before you light up that bowl or click on that video. I mean, sure, if you want to equate being regimental to being disciplined, that's up to you. More power to you, I guess. more power to you as if you knew what to do with it (laughs) it's alright I'll see it because you'll show it folks will see it because you show it follow us online Instagram Patreon it's the corporate cowboys man You know what the fucking deal is? That being said, I'm going to wish y'all a great week. Happy Monday. Don't fuck it up.